It's a new day at Taft High School. The students move into a new state-of-the-art building. Nine News reporter Annette Pegler is live in the West End with the students' reactions to their new surroundings. Annette? Clyde, it's hard to believe that nearly 10 years ago, this school's graduation rate was at an 18%. Now 95% of the students here are graduating and they have this new building to help them achieve their dreams. Tisha Ferguson is a sophomore studying in her biology class. She says the new environment helps her learn. We have a good learning environment where we were surrounded by good people in a nice building. We want to learn. Taft's new building represents a transformation. Classrooms were very small. It was very cramped up. It was just... Uh, it feels better to be here now. The $18.5 million facility houses nine computer labs, a courtyard area for students to study, new desks, and other features that you may not find in other public schools. We use computers every day. Uh, we need the space and, you know, just a better learning environment, a lot of good material, new books, new desks, new chairs. The transformation came long before this new building, thanks to the school's principal, Anthony Smith, whose motto is, failure is not an option. Usually in a technology high school, uh, kids are screened based on high math and science scores. We believe that we can take you from wherever you are and get you to the place that you need to be. That's exactly what Smith did. He hosted daily meetings to help find those students falling behind. He motivated the teachers to help figure out a plan to catch those students up. The number of students who now graduate shows why the school is being nationally recognized for their academic and sports. Taft is a blue ribbon school and the basketball team just won the school's first ever state championship. D -A -T. Now the school's principal also partnered up with Cincinnati Bell. The CEO of Cincinnati Bell, Jack Cassidy, promised any student that maintained a 3.3 free cell phones and laptops. And if the students went below that, they would have to give them back. And in nine years, not one of those students had to give back those electronics. Clyde and Carol. Very inspiring. Thanks a lot. Annette Pegler reporting live from the West End. Thanks, Annette. The I